welcome to Brothers Forge Gaming. If that's not one of the most misleading introductions I've ever seen, I don't know what is. Now maybe the further you get in the game, you can start doing some more free range, open world combat fighting. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, it did seem to open up more the further I got into it, but I think if you guys stick around till the end of this video, you'll see the progression of the end of the game where you go through and actually start challenging dojos to battle. As we quickly look at some of the options there, and here you can select one of three characters, each with their different attributes. And on top of that, there is no fear in this dojo. So you gotta go select your dojo, find which one suits your needs and strengths and wants. Uh, I kind of went with the average all-around fighter, and I tried to go with a school that was more about, uh, you know, offensive combat. The defense in this game is difficult to master, so I figured I would just go with the battle strategy. Try to beat fools down before they beat me down, uh, you know? Seems to be the best offense is the best offense. <laughs> Some may say it's a good defense, but uh, when it comes to sword fighting, it's hard to say. It's hard to say. So, here, where you have infinite lives, a good offense is a good offense. So, <laughs> a little bit more story for you. ヒビタンネオカガスコトンナク。自らきみは今まさに剣豪への道を歩み始める。Alright, so after a series of introductory and tutorial battles, uh, you finally make your way up to fighting a, I don't know, it's not even a tournament, it's just you're fighting multiple enemies in succession with very little strength reco recovered in between fights. It actually gets pretty difficult. Uh, so, you know, unfortunately the training doesn't really help. Uh, games like this, and I, I find especially in this era, in the PS2 era, the tutorials, are like harder than the game because they, they want to teach you how to do the game but they won't let you progress until you master that one one technique that you don't even ever want to use because it's too hard and too stupid and you're just like whatever I'll just do this other thing that's easier to use and so you know you do that in any way a lot of time you get hindered in these games by stuff like that this one was I want to say the learning curve was very steep and you had to want to get through the game but I do recommend that you do because as you can see here, you can do training, you can increase your, your character statistics up to a certain point. Um, and so these are kind of like different mini games, so we're going to go through the different training mini games so you can have an idea of what's going on. And eventually we're going to get to the battling. But yeah, as I was saying, some of the tutorial tutorials in these games of, of the PS2 era were, were over overwhelming and you're like okay I, don't, I can't even make it through the tutorial I don't want to play this game anymore uh, and now there was a little bit of that going on like I mentioned but realistically uh, you can go train get your guys stronger so if you're just not strong enough to beat a fight I would just recommend doing some of these trainings over and over uh, you can only power up so much at a time and then you have to go actually fight to increase your stats this is just increasing your cap level and then actually as you fight, you know, you increase your stats per fight and how well you do in things. Now there is something that fame level um, that rises as you go. And 
like I said, if you watch till the end of the video, I make it to the part where you go around and start challenging different dojos and trying to, so I imagine I was to the point where you had to fight each school and then take over that. Whether the game progresses further after that, I don't know. Uh, I'm actually interested in finding out. So one of these times when I have some more time, uh, I may sit there and try to fight all the dojos and see what happens next. Maybe I'll, if there is something else, I'll bring another video. But real quick, I just wanted to bring this video out. Uh, this game is highly underrated and it's I've seen it in every bargain bin across every store I've seen where I see this game. It's typically in the you know, $2, $3, $4 bin. Um, I, I was able to pick it up on a great deal with a store that was going out of business. Uh, it's always sad to see that happen, but hey, I got some good deals, right? So <laughs> can't be too mad at it. Um, this was probably one of the harder trainings right here because there's this weird, as you can see, the bamboo is glowing. There's like an auto targeting feature of this game. I'm not sure if you can turn it on or off or if it's just part of this drill or what, but uh, it made it almost impossible to, to control through here. Uh, this game almost features tank controls as well. So uh, not only are you fighting camera angles and bad controls and, and random auto targeting, uh, you know, this game has a lot going against it as far as playability, like ease of playability goes, but it's a very excellent game. Uh, while it may be lacking in some detail, just minor things like there's not really sound effects here, and all there is is some wolf howling in the background with no background music or anything. Um, while that can get irritating, you know, it's cool that you're in this bamboo forest and it's dark and, you know, it's kind of ominous. You know, it's got it's got the setting right. It's got all the all that going on. It's got the cool culture elements to it. Uh, you know, the historical, factual, different things that it has going on with it. But uh, you know, that part it excels. But in the minor details of just little things like BGM and, and controllability and things like that, uh, the game does suffer. But do not let that deter you from playing this game. Uh, if you like sword fighting games, if you like being a samurai. Uh, this game, as I said, could be slightly frustrating, but if you get the controls down and you stick to it, you may find yourself having a very good time with this game. <laughs> I think I, I think I almost cleared that bonus level. If you clear it, you get even more um, stats. I think I was like those four bamboo sticks away from doing it. Uh, so that's disappointing. <laughs> um, but yeah, whether the game opens up more more than that, as, as you can see as you watch to the end of this, uh, like I said, I'm not sure about that but if it does there'll be a whole new maybe open world part where you go around and you're famous and people come and try to hunt you down and you have to fight them i can't really see that happening but i don't know you never know with some of these games sometimes i thought this one was funny this reminded me of um what was that kung fu <laughs> what you know stats the pebble out of my hand and, uh, otherwise you get swatted with the <sighs> Yeah, so that, 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 this part of that was pretty funny, I thought. Um, but yeah, guys, stick around. Watch the progression of this game after I do some training. Show the different trainings. I think there's a couple more left. Uh, you can see the action start getting into it. Uh, like I said, this game offers different modes. There's verse mode. There's the cool single-player story mode. There's a few different options. Slight custom ability, so because you, know, you get to select your dojo, your character. So it does have replay value in that sense and in the fact that you can upgrade your character in this like early rpg light is a term that's getting thrown around now kind of like rogue light but rpg light meaning that there are some rpg elements to a more of an action style game uh you know this has that and for for a game like this in the ps2 era before it's time if you will uh, to have those style elements to it make for a very fun experience <laughs> Now, as a fan of old kung fu movies, I dig these trainings. As I mentioned, that one reminds me of kung fu. This one is just classic, you know. Oh, he's such a master, he can slice the candle out from across the room. It's like really cool elements of that. Um, so, yeah, just stick around, guys. Check out the rest of this video here if you want. Um, like I said, it's going to get into the action. It's a very playable game. Um, as a huge fan of the Souls series, uh, I like games that let you take on the sword fighting yourself. Uh, you're not beholden to a series of macros where you basically, you know, you get 
and you hit a couple buttons and your guy does a super combo and, and you win the game. Like that's cool and there's that's fun to do. Uh, but this game is very heavily based on your skill level. Now granted there is a certain amount of glitchiness that you have to overcome. Um, but a lot of it is sheerly based on your skill. So as, as somebody who like I said enjoys the Soul Series games, um, I, I enjoy that difficult combat and this has that for you. So if you haven't played this game before guys, I would highly recommend that you pick it up. Um, if you like a good challenge, if you enjoy sword fighting games. Oh yeah taking them down so the action should get pretty intense after this guys so check it out thanks for hanging out this has been brothers forge gaming and we'll see you next time Yeah. <laughs> 
に勝利してみよう。
見事何道場破りじゃとわしもなめられたものよまあよいではまずこの者たちとお相手願おう。
Yes. <laughs> 
旅となるがいいいざ Okay. 